you so much for tuning in to another video. Today I am super excited because yet again I have an amazing haul to share with you guys. I am super behind on filming content because I have been sick and today is the first day that it actually started snowing here where I am. So I'll go ahead and throw some footage up because it's actually really pretty today but I've heard that this is supposed to be the coldest winter yet so I am not looking forward to it. But if you want to see what we have for today's video let's go ahead and get started. So as per usual when I'm filming like this more than likely I have a Squishmallow haul. And you guys are correct. I showed this to you in my last haul. I have had this for quite a while, but I'm barely getting around to it. I still haven't even opened this package, so I wanted to go ahead and open it with you guys. So I do have these to show you, and I have a couple of ones that I would consider Halloween. So if you want to see them, let's go ahead and get started. So I'll go ahead and start with the little ones that I have. They are the ones that were from the Five Below Halloween release. The first one that I have is this cute little witch's cauldron. It is absolutely absolutely adorable. I actually had these little squishmallows on display during a Halloween party that we had. If I have any pictures, I'll go ahead and throw them up so you could kind of see how cute it was. Then I was able to pick up this cute little bat. I absolutely love this one. This red color is so beautiful and she is so extremely soft. And I believe all of these are about four and a half inches. The next one that I have is this very cute little gargoyle. I absolutely love the speckling on him. He is absolutely adorable. So one of the reasons that I got this is because when we were little, we watched that show, The Gargoyles. I'll throw up a picture. So this was just a cute throwback memory for me, but I absolutely love this one. I love the coloring. And I know this was one of the harder ones to find during this release. And now I have a small little story. So what happened was I made this order online and pick up in store, but I made it two weeks after the initial drop. That way I could actually pick what I wanted because I knew they had it in store. So they filled the order. I went to pick it up. I got to the car and they gave me this one. So this is this little pumpkin cat. This is not what I ordered. So then I went back inside and I told them, I was like, this is not what I ordered. She was like, well, let me see your order. So I gave her the order and she was like, well, there's nothing we can do about it. And I was like, this isn't what I wanted. And I'll throw up the picture here of the one I actually ordered that was on my order. They wouldn't let me return it. There was nothing she said they could do. So now I just have this one that I didn't want, but I think I'm going to give this to a friend because she saw it and she actually really liked it. They could have just emailed or called me and told me the one that I ordered was out of stock instead of just giving me this one hoping I wouldn't notice and then being stuck with it. I mean even though I did notice and went back inside I still got stuck with it. So anyway I have this one. So now I only have three more Halloween ones. They are eight inch ones. So the first one that I have I actually bought off Macari. It's the second ever Macari purchase that I made and I actually really do like it. I think I took some footage of me actually opening this. I'll throw it in if I have it but I have this cute little devil Bolana. I really really wanted her. I had been searching since the day I saw someone post in my Facebook group that she was out and I never managed to find her. So I actually ordered her about four days before Halloween because at that point I gave up since I saw Walgreens was already stocking Christmas ones. So I had to turn to a reseller. I don't really think I paid that much more. I know that this one was like $9.99 in the store and I think I may have paid seven to eight dollars more. I know that's a lot but I really really want her. She's just so cute. She's gonna fit in perfect with my cow collection so I'm happy nonetheless. Then I was able to pick up, oh, this is one of my favorites, this eight inch Day of the Dead Connor. Absolutely beautiful. Really, really excited to have this one. The embroidery on this is just so beautiful. I had this one displayed as well. I was just so happy to be able to pick this one up. So I did pick this one up online. I paid $5 more than retail because it was $5 shipping, but I'm totally fine with that because I never managed to find this in any Hallmarks that we have around here. So I was just so excited to get this one. I absolutely love it. Oh, I love him so, so much. And and then the final eight inch one I actually have is this little cat. Very, very cute. It is also from the Day of the Dead collection. And what happened was I actually bought these two together. I really, really, really wanted this one. And the only way to get it was if I bought this one as well. But I really thought that I was gonna like it. I thought, oh, she's really, really cute. But I've had her for a while now and I just don't think she's for me. She's absolutely gorgeous, but I'm not really a cat person and it's just not my vibe. So I definitely think I'm going to go ahead and give this one to the friend that I'm also giving this one to and I think that would be a cute little gift. And the very last Halloween Squishmallow that I have is this cute little clip. It's my second ever Squishmallow clip and I absolutely love him. I got him when Halloween Squishmallows first came out at Walgreens. At the time they also had the capsules but I didn't have money so I was like I'll get this, I'll go back and then I'll get some capsules. Never got the capsules but I'm so thankful that I picked this one up when I did because the capsules, the clips, the regular Squishmallows were all sold out at all my Walgreens. Walgreens 
like instantly. So I'm absolutely in love with this one. And he just goes in my boyfriend's car. I just love it. It's so cute. I don't know why I don't have more clips. All right, guys. So now we're on to this package. I'm going to go ahead and open it off to the side and then we'll go ahead and take a look at everything that's in here. I believe there's about five or six in here. So I'm really excited. It's been a while since I've had this. I really don't remember what's in here. So let's go ahead and get this open. So last time I ordered from Five Below, when I opened the box, they all came inside a plastic bag inside the box. But at a quick glance, they do not have any of the packaging, like the plastic packaging. So I'm super excited about that. So we'll go ahead and just jump right in and we'll look at everything that we got. I am so excited, guys. You have no idea. So I'm just going to go ahead and pull at random because I really don't remember what two of them are. So I don't really know where they came from. But I guess we'll see when we get there. So the first one that I have is this cute little acorn. This is the first time that I'm opening this box and seeing these in person this one is stuffed so well it definitely looks smaller than seven inches but it's definitely fluffed to the max which i love i love his cute little green leaf right here and his little stem this is so cute at first i got this because i wanted it to be part of my food collection but then i was thinking i'd love to decorate for holidays this would be perfect for like the thanksgiving time so that's why i went ahead and picked him up i think he is so adorable and i'm actually glad that i got him i remember thinking at the time maybe i'm gonna regret it but i don't at all then we have this cute little corn. I absolutely love this little hair up here. It's so cute. And I love that this corn is more of like a fall corn, not like with the green husks. It's more of like after the fall has come going into winter. So I really, really like this. I love the coloring. And I also thought this would not only be good for my food collection, but would be really good for my like holiday decorating as well. So I absolutely love this one. I know there's another version with green right here and I'm trying to get my hands on that one as well, but I really do love this one. Then I have this beautiful little pumpkin pie again i thought this would be beautiful for my food collection but also for the thanksgiving season i love the little lattice work and the actual ruffles like the crust of the pie this cute little dollop of whipped cream and this little pumpkin right there it is so adorable i absolutely love this one i know there's another version of this without this little pumpkin but embroidered in i want to get that one as well but i love this one nonetheless i also feel this one's a lot smaller than seven inches but she is stuffed girl so i absolutely love this one she is so cute then we have this cute little latte. Absolutely adorable. I don't know if this is supposed to be a spoon, a straw. I don't really know, but I absolutely love it. I love the whipped cream with these cute little polka dots, her little coffee belly band that has an apple. I don't know if she's supposed to be like an apple cinnamon latte or what, but she is so cute. Again, I'm sorry that I keep saying it, but definitely feels a lot smaller than normal, but she is very thick. So we like that. She is absolutely adorable. Got her for my food collection as well as fall decorations. So I love her. Then this next one, will seem kind of random but it had come out with another squad that I didn't want anything else but this one because I have a collection of these so I knew I wanted it plus it's the color blue but it is this beautiful little dragon that's actually textured I love this like tie-dye dark to light with a light tummy silver accents for the horns wings little tail thingies I absolutely love this one just so so cute this one is not really stuffed like the other ones but definitely a lot taller than them I really really love him I have a dragon collection I knew I wanted him but he was the only one from the squad he came out with so I had to wait to order him with these because I wasn't gonna pay six dollars shipping just for him but I love him nonetheless he's just so cute then I don't even remember buying this one but I am in love because the next haul you'll see he would fit right in but apparently I got him this go around and I checked the website I don't even remember ordering him I don't remember seeing him on there but I love him it is this cute little terrier puppy in this black and gray so so soft so nicely stuffed and a really good size he is absolutely adorable i don't know what squad he came out with because like i said i don't even remember him but he looks like one of my little terriers at home just black and my dog is brown but i absolutely love that because in the last haul i hauled a Pekingese squishmallow which represents all my other dogs and this represents our one little terrier so i'm so happy to have him my little heart just knew i wanted it i don't even remember ordering it but i'm glad he's in my collection and then to end off the video right i have this this little Connor the cow in these little pajamas absolutely adorable I know that the cows sell out really fast I'm sorry I'm squishing him but I wanted to make sure to get this because he'll go perfect with my cow collection I don't particularly like that half of it is not a cow but it's different as I've said in many of my squishmallow videos I do like when they do something different because they tend to recycle the patterns a lot so I know it's only half the cow and then something basic but it's different and I really do like it so I'm so excited to have this in my collection unfortunately i just saw that his tag is kind of bent but not a big deal because he's mine forever and i absolutely love him all right guys so that's absolutely
absolutely everything for this video. I'm so excited. I did want to make one last comment. I am noticing a lot of them actually have like this extra string going on. He has it. This dragon has it down here. Another one that I saw had it. This acorn right here. It's hard to see, but has this little string right there. So I'm not really sure what's going on with the quality of the ones they're sending, but hopefully I can cut those off and none of the seams unravel. But I just wanted to let you guys know so you'll be on the lookout for that if you do order them from online. But that's absolutely everything we have for today's video. I am so excited that I finally got to open these. It was really fun to open something that I bought quite a long time ago and didn't remember because it was like just a little Christmas morning opening presents. But in the comments below, definitely let me know which one was your favorite and why. What Squishmallows are you in search for and what should I be looking for? Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up because it really does help out the channel. Make sure to subscribe as well as turn on the notification bell. That way you can be notified when any future Squishmallow hauls go up on the channel. Other than that, I want to thank you guys so, so much for watching and we will definitely see you in the next one. Bye friends!